हेलो नमस्ते सुश्रीयकाल गुड इवनिंग केम छो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ रियलिटी रियलिटी विद मोहसिन एंड सिद वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स एंड आई होप यू गाइस हैड अ वंडरफुल वीक uh well the, it's too cold out there isn't it absolutely and we are watching uh, we are seeing like record temperature now like uh, temperatures which are not achieved in uh, like past 30 years, years. Yeah? yeah so um uh, i saw uh, the wind chill today was almost minus 40 degrees uh in this kind of a situation the first thing that comes to mind is safety guys so make sure that you are safe while you're driving uh you're safe when you're walking you keep yourself safe you keep people around you safe as well um and uh uh mosin how do you ensure safety like so said uh, there are so many stuff uh, especially when you are driving you need to take care of all those stuff uh, in, in in order to maintain the safety there are so many tips i would say so first and foremost for you when you are driving you you need to make sure that you have winter washer fluid which is stocked up properly your car is properly maintained you have a backup battery juice your phones are charged and you are carrying a, a small safety survival kit i would say that kit mm. should definitely contain some of the things which are very vital yeah. when you are on the road and uh, in case you are stuck into the emergency you should definitely have those stuff into your survival kit uh, for survival kit i would say you should you should have a booster cable you should have a small yeah. blanket you should have a, a tire inflator you should also have a small hammer and a screw driver apart from that you should have a some some dry food into your survival kit which can which can definitely help you when you are stuck in case of emergency and a source of light definitely definitely yeah. that is also very important and crucial uh, when you are stuck in case of emergency so we are discussing safety today guys and and we started off with safety because uh, if you are safe we everybody is safe and we have you as customers or viewers or whatever right um and also uh, mosin uh, how was the drive uh, this morning when you when you came here this morning was really great it was i mean uh, it, it is little cold but it is totally fine it is totally fine we are in canada it's winter time guys uh, it's winter time and you know that the temperature is down temperature is down so we are we are totally fine it's it's good okay uh, thank you for your safety tips mosin and um, Uh, we uh, how, what do you see in the market like to, coming back to real estate now uh, to your serious business uh, everything is serious safety is number one priority but after that in real estate um, do you see the market changing a little bit now it is it is changing because of so many different i would say rules into the mortgage mm -hmm. uh, it is also changing because of this shift into the market there are so many factors which are uh, right. there into the background which can definitely affect the yeah. current real estate market and and i see a lot of like we sold a lot of uh, pre construction last year not we like everybody all of our realtor friends did that right. and uh, some of these properties are uh, coming towards closing like in june, june july august Uh, especially in condominiums um they are going towards uh, in two or three years some properties will be ready in next six months this is a time when some people take a decision on getting out of the of the contract or the agreement right uh, how can you do that can you assign it is there a way to do that absolutely you said very good question and this is the topic which we are planning to cover next week uh, which is an assignment of agreement of purchase and sale uh, just to give you a little brief a brief background about assignment when uh, for example when a buyer bought a condo i would like to specifically talk about condo assignment sale mm -hmm. so when a buyer bought a condo and they want to uh, assign it to somebody else they want to sell it to somebody else before they close close the deal at that time they will definitely go ahead and use this assignment of agreement of purchase and sale uh, if the builder is allowing it okay um what are the situation when somebody can think about doing an assignment what are the circumstances there could be so many uh, circumstances behind that for, uh, for example a change in a job a change in a marital status or, or somebody wants to make a profit out of their investment mm -hmm. they can definitely think about this assignment of agreement of purchase and sale and there are so many profit there are so many benefits to the seller so many benefits to the buyer also at the same time mm -hmm. thank you mosin for your insight into that uh, this is the segment that we going to discuss about it for for keep it for the next week because this is a, a little bit complex uh, discussion and we want to go into uh, the details and give you the full information next week and uh, we are uh, we have a very special guest waiting for us um, and we want to get him as soon as possible so we'll take a break and we'll see you soon guys
चॉकलेटो असली बात तो अंदर है छुपी बिस्कोनी चॉकलेटो इसके खास कुकी में है छुपी रिच क्रीमी चॉकलेट बात तो है इसमें ऐसी ही बात है तुम में भी छुपी है तुझ में जो बात दिखा दे अपना बिस्कोनी चॉकलेटो इट्स स्पेशल इन साइड रंग वाली भरम वाली वाले खैबर वाले लाहौर वाले पिंडी वाले इन शॉट पूरे पाकिस्तान वाले मैं हूं जहांगीर खान स्क्वाश कोर्ट का चैंपियन लेकिन रियल स्टेट इन्वेस्टमेंट का चैंपियन मोहम्मद कामरान हुसैन मुझे उन पर यकीन है आप भी करके देखिए जहांगीर खान और हजारों क्लाइंट्स का चहेता मोहम्मद कामरान हुसैन रेजिडेंशियल प्रॉपर्टीज और इन्वेस्टमेंट्स दोनों के लिए ही सही मशवरा सही फैसला मकान जिसे आप अपना घर कहने में फख्र महसूस करेंगे मोहम्मद कामरान हुसैन फोर वन सिक्स थ्री वन एट फाइव टू सिक्स फोर यू डोंट है वेबसाइट येट एंड यू वॉन्ट टू डिजाइन योर ओन वेबसाइट और रीडिजाइन इट सो नाउ इज द राइट टाइम NJ Marketing is offering free websites. Just sign up with NJ Marketing for digital marketing. NJ is offering a complete package for digital marketing which includes social media marketing with graphic design, search engine optimization, and email marketing for only $255. Don't wait. Sign up now and grow your business by capturing high quality leads that will increase your profits. Call now. 1-888 Two three zero seven three five seven, or visit www. njmarketings. com. Caravan, an exclusive multi-designer studio, specialized in wedding planning services, bridal wear, casual party wear, jewelry, shoes, purses, dupattas, men's and kids' clothes. You name it, we have it. Some of the Pakistani designer labels we carry are Sami K, Aga Noor, Sana Sapinas, Ana Sapra, Zainab Chutani, Wahaj Khan, Fatma Khan, and many more. Caravan, sheer elegance. We believe in quality service and best price. You can contact nine zero seven five Derry Road West, Unit Number One, Milton, Ontario. Hello viewers welcome back to uh, Realty Reality with Mohsin and Sid today we are super duper excited to have one of our very close friends from Niagara visiting us in our studios today and he's a superstar when it comes to real estate his name is Andrew Perry he's from Ni uh, from Revel Realty Inc Welcome Andrew to yeah, our show. Thank you very much for having me guys. I really appreciate it. Great to be here. Andrew, very warm welcome by the thank team you. Reality Bulls on our show Reality Reality with Monsen and Sid. And um, we know you work in Niagara region. So you can yes, tell sir, us something yeah. about your services, uh, what do you offer for uh, okay. for the buyers and sellers over there? Yeah, absolutely. So I mean, I, I'm more focused um, in the Niagara and the Lake region. It's where I live. My family has a small farm there. We absolutely love it. And uh, you know what? I extend my services uh, as far as Stony Creek North and as far as Fort Erie South. And you know, with with me, I like to provide a full service package for listing listings. So for sellers and for buyers. So for the listing side, I do full 4K videos. I do professional photos, staging consultations. But I don't stop there. I do digital print ads, or sorry, digital ads and print ads as well. And I target them for. Uh, depending on the market, but all across North America and even international. So I take it a little step further uh, because my market is a little bit more unique and requires that one percent of buyers. That that's really great to know. And uh, our viewers, as we have Andrew Perry today in our studio, and I know uh, his core expertise is on digital marketing. We would like to take this opportunity from Andrew to explain us a little bit more on digital marketing. So Andrew, uh, our first question is. Uh, how is the digital marketing better than the conventional marketing? What do okay. you want to say about it? Uh, well, one of the biggest things that sets apart digital marketing uh, from conventional is that you get to kind of tell a story about your brand. 
you get to connect with people on more of a relationship level as if you've almost met them before or you've known them for years. Mm -hmm. If you think about this, think about uh, your favorite celebrity who's passed away when uh, like an actor right so you, you kind of you, you feel very passionate about them pa passing away mm -hmm. because you've allowed them into your home for so long over the years that you feel that they're almost part of the family so that's why digital advertising in, uh, in the form of video marketing is completely different and sets you apart from print ads or conventional marketing you get to um, you know create those relationships as opposed to just building a customer base wow uh, very well said and uh, that brings us to the next question which is uh, as a realtor uh, what are the tools I need and how much of a budget do I need to start off mm -hmm. as a digital marketer uh, for real estate so you know what it really uh, everybody thinks that you need this huge production which is not true uh, one of the things that you need for sure if you want to get started in video marketing or digital ad marketing is at least a phone a smartphone Really, that's all you need, especially if you're looking to kind of, um, you know, up your marketing efforts, just start recording or documenting everything. So break out your phone, like right now, we're in a studio and we're, and we're filming a, a production. That's one form, but you could have one of your fr friends film me right on your phone and we could have live streamed this live. And you know what, the live productions are cheap, uh, relatively, like I said, all you need is your smartphone. Yeah. You don't really need any um, lighting or anything like that. The, the phones these days are typically pretty good. And if, as, if you have a, 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 a Mac, the iMovie software is mm -hmm. free. You can use that for editing. And, um, and, and if you're talking more about the boosted posts or the actual advertising themselves on Facebook or other social media platforms, you don't need a lot. If you want to extend your reach locally, mm -hmm. you, could, you could be sp spending about 27, 30 bucks per ad per month. Well, so it's all up to you. How much do you really want to spend? Wow. Okay. That that's really uh, Andrew explained in a very simple way how how can a realtor use a digital marketing in a real estate market. Uh, nowadays, Andrew, most of the people they are using social media. So I just want to know how are you connecting digital marketing with online marketing, especially in terms of social marketing. Uh, well, so I I'm a firm believer in networking. So if you look closely at my social media platforms, or sorry, my handles, uh, it's usually made up of not necessarily clients, but more of my business database. Mm -hmm. So I have YouTube fine gentlemen on my social media page, and I have other like-minded realtors or business people on my social media page. And now why is that important? It's important because we all support each other. I think the days of competition between realtor and brokerage are over, and I believe that everybody, especially social media, it's brought us all closer and we're all working together. So the way I like to build my social media platforms, especially if you're looking to support one another and really up your marketing game and get your name across to different markets, across North America or globally, is to add business database. Yeah. And that and then that way, you know, we engage with each other a little bit more as Absolutely. well, right? So we Absolutely. like, we yeah. share, we mm -hmm. comment, we get the viewership up for, mm -hmm. for all of us, and it's just a, it's just an all-around great thing. Perfect, great. perfect. And uh, as you can see, like he's a total superstar when it comes to <laughs> digital marketing and the way he puts things um, in uh, social media to uh, market your property or your concept or whatever. And also he said about how we team up as realtors uh, in a small area or in a big area. Uh, like, uh, you know, we help each other um, and feed off each other as well. Um, how do you think the market is gonna change in 2018? The yeah. strategies can, uh, you know, affect, uh, you can effectively put better strategies in 2008 in terms of social marketing. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think we're going with that? So here's the good news uh, about going back to what I was talking about with uh, the pricing of how to market yourself and how it's relatively cheap. The good thing about the way the marketing's going in 2018 is that live videos are going to take over. Mm -hmm. So live videos, as I said, you don't need a capture card, you don't need a professional camera, you just need your phone. Mm -hmm. So live videos are becoming more interesting. People. Uh, become more engaged when they're seeing it live on the spot. So live videos are going to take over and it, 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 
more businesses and more brands, especially in real estate, are going to be focused on video content. Facebook is changing their algorithms to ensure that videos get top priority. Mm -hmm. And if you want to be on the top of the list, you got to ensure that you're putting out content that has a high shareability rate. And as I said, live videos are becoming more and more popular. So that's a great place to start. And I think that's where the market is going to be in 2018. That's perfectly well explained, I would say. Uh, before we go into a general question on real estate market, uh, I would like to ask again. I would like to, uh, I would like your opinion uh, for all our realtors, a specific tips on, uh, on innovative marketing. I would say, what tips are you you want to provide it to our realtors, our viewers, about some specific tips? I would say. Okay, so if I could break it down into form of. Uh, you know, one, two, three, I would have to say that number one, you have to start doing video. If you're not, you're already left behind your competition. I know that, you know, but that is something that's true. Uh, you want to stay ahead of them by getting out there and, and putting yourself in front of as many people as possible by doing video. Um, if I had to break it down from there, so it all comes down to getting in front of as many people as possible so now you know to build trust especially with social media there's tons of noise one of the most important thing is to make as many touches or impressions on an individual as humanly possible because now it takes I think I heard this stat the other day it takes almost 70 touches for somebody to uh, trust you so number two get in front of as many people as humanly possible Mm -hmm. and then number three uh, The level of success that you have is directly proportioned to your ability to communicate with as many different people as possible. So other realtors, Mm -hmm. your 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 farmed area, uh, clients, family, friends, let everybody know that you're in the business, you mean business, and then just take it from there. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there, I guess. Okay, Uh, so uh as you put it, uh, for your advantage, for our advantage, for our viewers' advantage, uh, he said the takeaway from that is basically don't be shy of the camera, face it yeah. bravely, and uh, get rid of your uh, camera shyness or uh, fear. Your fears, right? absolutely. And uh, get in front of the camera because camera is gonna take you to hundred different places or thousand absolutely. different places all over the world. You can meet thousands of people through your camera, through your Facebook or uh, Twitter handle. And um, as you said, make uh, as many impressions as possible with people. And um, how do you manage all this? Uh, it's too much work, right? <laughs> yeah. So uh, my wife uh, came up with a rule: no phones or computer after eight o'clock. Huh. Because I, yeah, it does take a lot of time. But in reality, I do take it a little far. I make sure that I reach out to every single person who engages with me. I like, comment, and share as many uh, of the people that try to engage with me, right? If they're going to take mm-hmm. the time out of their day, um, but and th- other than that, there there are resources you can't you can use like Buffer or Hootsuite that you can schedule all your posts. So you can work one day a week on setting up your entire week's schedule, and and then that way it frees up some time. But absolutely, if you do it my way, it does take you know a few hours a day. That's for sure. So there are some time management tips for you guys, and uh... that's great. That's great. And uh, as we know. Uh, Andrew Perry is a superstar in digital marketing and we keep following him, uh, we keep following his posts, uh, his videos and that's really a great help for all the realtors and there are so many tips and uh, you know tips and tools he is providing in such a nice way. Uh, Andrew, we do have one more general question. Sure, what do you yeah, think absolutely. about real estate marketing, market in general in 2018? Uh, well, yeah, I think I said, uh, you know, I kind of touched on it a little bit before, live videos. So live videos, getting yourself out there as much as possible. I think storytelling is going to be taking over as far as the production side of things. Mm-hmm. So what I think, if, if you see a lot of realtors now that are doing one-off kind of videos where they'll even hire actors, mm-hmm. I think that's going a little far. It's great to maybe do one or two of those a year. Um, but higher production videos, you should always have that as your landing page for your, for your websites right. Right. or your cover photo. You mm-hmm. can now switch to a video, right? right. So I would put that high quality video, maybe do one, maybe do two, and then stick the rest to a raw live strategy because, mm-hmm. you know, that's the way 
marketing on Facebook or social media is going to be headed in 2018. So that, that keeps you original, right? I mean, yeah, you, absolutely. You, know, you don't need to hire professionals to do that. You can do it yourself. Okay, uh, well said, Andrew. And, um, you know, uh, we are, if anybody has any questions, please feel free to call us. Uh, Andrew, what's your number? You can always share your number with them. And, uh, yeah, so you can so always, yeah, thank you. You can always get in touch with me by calling me or texting me, 905 uh, 3 or Andrew at Revel You can always check me out on Facebook, Andrew Perry Real Estate, or uh, of course, Andrew Perry Real Estate.com. That's or, great. I do have one more question. Yeah, sure. Apart from Absolutely. the marketing, uh, if you can provide some general idea about your, your opinion about the current situation. Uh, into the real estate market about yeah. buying and selling process uh, okay. and what's going on in Niagara region. So Niagara region, we're seeing a lot of investors coming in and buying up uh, rental properties mm -hmm. because I don't, I'm not sure if you're aware, but the uh, GO train is coming to oh. Niagara Falls. Mm. Uh, so that's going to open up the market in a huge way and you know, about a kilometer to two kilometer radius from the proposed go st uh, train station or go, go bus uh, those prices are unbelievably cheap right now so you know we already we're seeing it right now we're seeing people coming in from Toronto all over the world and buying up properties right around the go station okay. now if, if we're looking at Niagara on the lake more specifically mm -hmm. it's 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 its own little market the outside influences uh, have a hard time penetrating this market. It's very well protected. Uh, of course, it's a lot of resale. There's only a, a percentage of land that you can use as real estate. So it's a lot of resale. And if I had to speak about Niagara region as a whole, prices are going up. I know that stat, I think, just came out from Toronto saying that unit sales were down. Look, I, I can understand that, but you got to understand 2016 was a crazy, unbelievable year. So it's hard to compare what happened in 2017 versus what happened to 2016. You just can't do that. Um, but as far as the Niagara market as a whole, it's still strong. Houses are staying on the market 30 and 60 days in between there. And uh, we're still seeing a pretty fast increase in prices. Amazing, amazing. And uh, I can remember, uh, Andrew, when we used to study geography, the first thing we used to read about Canada is Niagara Falls. So yeah. guys, if you have to go to Niagara, don't forget to connect with Andrew. Yes, and, uh, please. Because he's a superstar in Niagara, as I <laughs> keep telling people. Um, also, how do you see the market changing in 2018 after this mortgage rules and all that? So the mortgage rules, typically when you see a major change, it's anywhere between 60 to 90 days uh, where you have a cooling off period where, you know, buyers are a little skeptical, sellers aren't sure if they should list their home. Uh, the thing is, is that people have been buying homes, things, uh, rules and regulations have been in place and changing for years. Uh, and people are still buying homes year after year. What a surprise, right? So I think we will see a cooling off period for another couple of months, but still people are gonna, if people want a house, they're gonna find a way to get it. Whether it's co-signing, mm -hmm. whether it's gifting down payments, buyers are gonna find a way and sellers are gonna get their house sold. It may take a little bit longer than it did last year at this yep. time, but it's gonna work out. Thank you very much, Andrew, for providing us uh, your well. insight on digital marketing as well as current real estate market. Yeah, that was good information from Andrew. Andrew, tell us more about yourself, like your hobbies. What do you do in pastime? You go fishing or um, obviously summertime? My hobbies are uh, usually my free time is taken up by more digital market. But other than that, um, I love to play hockey. Um, you know, my wife's family owns a winery, so I love to kind of take my son, who's two years old, around the winery. Mm -hmm. We, uh, you know, we like to hike, we like to do all that stuff. But I think going back to the winery, one of my hobbies is definitely tasting the wine. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Nothing beats a good Cabernet Low, especially in a 2012. I love it. What do you? What about the ice wines? In Niagara? Uh, you know what? Ice wines are very popular in Niagara uh, on the lake. Obviously, yeah, yeah. we've got the ice wine festival January twentieth. Mm. Uh, I know a lot of people are coming down for that, and it's going to be very exciting. But for me, I'm not a big ice wine fan. It's a little mm. too sweet for me. I like a nice dry wine. Perfect, perfect. So uh, that was Andrew Perry for you guys, and uh, please do contact us if you have any feedback, any suggestions. We welcome that. Our phone number is six four seven. 892-1234, very easy to remember. And our email is therealitybulls at gmail.com. So please um, feel free to uh, send in your suggestions, your questions, your feedback. 
any information you want from us we are always there for you and uh, remember if you are going to Niagara this is the guy for Niagara. Right Andrew, thank you very much for yeah, being here. Thank you very much for having me. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you.